Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to play Chamber and tell you all about him, including his abilities, how they work, and what is the best way to utilize him. These Chamber tips and tricks will help you up your game with Chamber to a new level. By pressing Q, Chamber equips a heavy pistol that can also aim down sights with your right click. Each shot with this gun costs 100 credits and you can carry a maximum of 8 shots. Leg shots are 46 damage, body and chest are 55 damage, and headshot is 156 damage, just like the Sheriff. It's worth noting that there's no drop off damage on long range while Sheriff has it. Chamber is great in eco rounds due to this and his ultimate ability. He pretty much always has a weapon. Chamber can place that a trap works. similar to a Killjoy's alarm bot that scans Listen around and looks for enemies once one is detected. It starts counting down and it creates a slow field around it. It costs 150 credits and has two charges. The trap has a scan range of 10 okay. meters 360 degrees. If you plan it during the buy phase, you can pick it up before the buy phase ends, not when the game starts. If you're playing defense, that you will works. place these in the usual corridors where enemies That's will rush response. through while defending the other one. This is not a new mechanic at all. While playing attack, you will apply okay. this ability on the flank corridor so enemies can't flank that you from works. behind while you're pushing the other one. Enemies will need to either get revealed by it and slowed or they will destroy it and let you know they're there. However, there's a trick, for example, a jet can smoke the bot and will not reveal her if its smoke is blocking the line of sight. If you don't need it to cover flanks for some reason, you can save it for when after you plant the spike. You can put them in the entrances, usually behind walls so they have to trigger if when coming into the site. Chamber can place two teleport beacons and teleport between them by reactivating the abilities. From one beacon to the other maximum you can spread them is 30 meters, and the maximum range of each beacon from which you can reactivate and teleport is 10 meters. To use this ability you will usually place one beacon somewhere safe behind where enemies can't reach you that will serve as a safe haven once you need a quick escape. You put the second one somewhere very aggressive, usually on peaking places where you try to pick up kills. Then you can shoot and teleport back immediately within a millisecond so you don't get hit back. It's worth knowing that you don't have to be in the line of sight in the beacon, it sees you through walls too. Another way to use this is for quicker rotations in defense. Basically, you set one close to A site and one close to B site. Once you hear a call where they're rushing, you can teleport to the other site much quicker. Alternatively, you can use it for vertical movement, meaning you set one beacon on heaven and the other one below. Third, great usage on defense is putting one beacon on one side of the site while the other beacon is on the other side of the site. So when enemies come in, you're in the back of the site defending and so on. However, once they push through, you can teleport to the other one behind their backs and destroy them. By using your ultimate that takes 7 points to charge, you pull out a big sniper that one shots enemies wherever you hit them and creates a lingering slow field around any killed enemy. Wall banging is exactly like the operator, through thinner walls you will one shot people in the head but through thicker ones you won't. However, just like your headhunter vs sheriff, Tour de Force is stronger than the operator due to a much faster fire rate which makes it simply amazing. So once you kill someone, it slows people around them and you're ready to fire again much faster. Long story short, it can get really ugly for the enemy team. Chamber is not like Raze where your abilities will kill people even if you're not that precise. This agent dominates only if you're a sharpshooter, otherwise it's a complete waste to play him. You're not a duelist, you're a sentinel. Your goal is mostly to gather intel and stay behind and pick up kills with your sharpshooting. Don't play a hero. Make sure to have a cash to buy ammo for the headhunter or your ultimate on eco rounds to benefit your team greatly similar to Jet. That's it guys, thanks for watching and I hope your chamber game is now improved.